nothing unites a city more than a major sports championship. For Portland, it happened in 1977 when the Blazers won it all. Bill Walton was the MVP, but what power forward Maurice Lucas did in game two may have turned that series around. Our Ken Body sat down with Bobby Gross, who was in the middle of that defining moment, and this is Places Where We Live. Dawkins hustling back. Gilliam inside. Dawkins just yanks Gross down to the ground and jumps back up. And Ramsey's out on Dawkins, and Richie Powers is pushing Ramsey away. And now, Bill Dawkins and Maurice Lucas. Somebody do something. It's Dawkins and Lucas. Dawkins and Lucas. In hindsight, I'm grateful he got involved because I didn't want to take another punch from him or an attempted punch from Daryl Dawkins. Obviously, he's a big guy and real strong. Bob Gross works in the construction industry now, but in 1977, he played alongside the enforcer, Maurice Lucas. The power forward from Marquette was the Blazers' designated tough guy. Down 2 to nothing to Philly in the title series, the Blazers returned to the Coliseum for game three, and Luke knew he was in Dawkins' head from the introduction. Daryl Dawkins didn't know what was going to happen, and he stuck his hand out to shake his hand, and, and Daryl shook his hand, and Daryl was a non-factor from that point on. Here's McInnes, Lucas comes out, McInnes for the tie, it's off, and he's there! The Blazers won four straight to take the series in six, beating a 76ers team with Hall of Famer Julius Irving. The brawl may have changed the series. I think it maybe let them know, Philadelphia, that we, we weren't going to lay down for them. Despite his persona, Lucas was a teddy bear off the court, doing a lot in the community he loved. You got to know him. Maurice was not, not a tough guy off the court. He was only a tough guy on the court. The enforcer died of bladder cancer in 2010. But for Blazer fans, Maurice Lucas will never be forgotten. Ken Body, Coin 6 News.